What's going on, people? It's your boy, Travis. Submissions and Slashers, episode number 43. We are back from the illustrious family known as Horror Movies Uncut. We are here to provide you guys with nothing but news that you need to know involving the independent genre film circuit. So on today's show, what we're going to be jumping into, as always, you know where you need to find us. Hit all those buttons. Subscribe wherever you are listening right now, whether it be via podcast or right here on YouTube. You can watch, you can listen, you can definitely subscribe. Hit us up at H-M-U-N-C-U-T. That's where you'll find us on all the social media outlets. You'll be able to get all the news you need to know involving the independent genre world, which is what Submissions and Slashers and Horror Movies Uncut is all about. Today's episode rolling into the weekend. Here we are Sunday night, right around six o'clock in the evening, folks. We're gonna be jumping into a review about the film Thanksgiving. Told you guys I was gonna review it after Thanksgiving, just in case some people hadn't had a chance to see it at that moment. I wanted to make sure they got, you know, a lot of people probably went and saw it on Thanksgiving night. So I wanted to make sure everyone got a chance to see it before we dropped our thoughts on the film Thanksgiving. I got a review for a film I just finished watching called Tropic. It's a very interesting genre film that came out. It's a little French sci-fi thriller that came out last year that's going to be circulating on the VOD outlets starting next week. And we're going to be dropping a review for it on Monday. So we want to give you guys a little heads up about that film before the weekend is over. Weird news of the week. So another segment that we're going to keep going every single time we get a chance to here on Submissions and Slashers, talking about something that I think you guys will enjoy as horror movie fans. Uh, Where to find us as always, folks, at H-M-U-N-C-U-T. We are, of course, on Submissions and Slashers is what you'll find us when you listen to us on the podcast outlet. That can be on Spotify, that can be on Slacker, whatever you listen to, and then also on our YouTube channel as well. At H-M-U-N-C-U-T, you'll find us all, okay? Make sure you hit that button. We're going to jump out, come right back in, give you guys a review for the film Thanksgiving, and jump right into everything you need to know on episode 43. Submissions and Slashers. Don't go All right, nowhere. people, welcome back to the Submissions and Slashers podcast. Of course, Travis Brown from the illustrious family known as Horror Movies Uncut. Here talking about a little bit more of a bigger budgeted film than we normally talk about, even though we've been doing that kind of a lot lately. Uh, but it's just that type of season, folks. And it's, it's you know, kind of fitting that you're going to get a lot more films that are going to hit theaters, that are going to be jumping out of festival circuits, getting a little bit more of a larger run at this time of year. And primarily it's because it's getting colder outside. And when it's getting colder outside, people watch more movies. And when people watch more movies, they're looking for way more things to see that you generally might get, you know, sent directly to on demand uh, or only getting a limited run. Uh, But the film that we're going to talk about is Eli Roth's Thanksgiving And look, there's no real reason to really jump into like mega thoughts of why the movie's so great or what's so terrible about the film. Uh, I believe there's been a consensus across the board that everyone really, really liked the film. I, myself included, liked the film. Uh, It's entertaining. It's exactly what you expected it to be. Uh, To be able to take a concept, uh, it was about 16 years ago or so, finally allow it to breathe some life and entertain us all, I think, was just a very, very refreshing thing to see as we are still kind of dealing with pandemic horror films and some of your more woke horror films. Uh, You know, last episode, we talked about uh, Lord of Misrule, which is more of a folk horror film. And one of the things that I mentioned is just the return to a slasher film is so needed. Um... You have a lot of fun and entertaining things that have been out recently, thinking Fast Night, Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff like that. But the general population at the end of the day will always flock to a great slasher film. Uh, And that's not just with horror films. Oh, I'm sorry, horror fans. You can actually grab 
the attention of the mainstream, get those people who you generally would not see uh, entertaining uh, coming into a horror film, they will if it's a great slasher film. So uh, I love it. I, I, I'm, I'm going to forever be a fan of slasher films. And Thanksgiving, I think, uh, has all the elements, everything in there you need. It has this comedy. It has a lot of great gore that you expect from Eli Roth. Um, the kills were violent, vicious. It's what you expect from Eli Roth. Uh, you know, this guy has always been a student of horror. And whenever he makes a film, he makes sure that you, you, you see that in his work. Uh, so it's been a while since we've seen anything from Eli. Um, but it was great to see Thanksgiving. Uh, if you haven't seen it in theaters, go ahead, see it in theaters. More than likely, I think it's going to be out on all the like big Paramounts or HBO Maxes and things like that in the next week or so. So if you haven't seen it in theaters and you're kind of weary about spending the money, because it is a lot of money these days, I know people, uh, you could just hold off for like another week or so. And I believe Thanksgiving might be out on Peacock, might be out on Peacock right now for all I know. I think it's like next week is when it comes out. So don't forget to find us though at H-M-U-N-C-U-T. We're going to drop back in with the little weird news of the week, talk about this little funky story that I found for you guys, and then we'll drop a review for the film Tropic. Talk about the big budget action film that everybody's watching that you need to know about in case you don't, and then wrap it up with some little indie film shout outs from the grave. So don't go anywhere. Real quick, episode number 43 a Sub and Slash, but we're gonna come back with some weird news of the week. So don't you go anywhere. Oh, Thanksgiving's like a four out of five. Yeah. All right, right, folks. Welcome back to the Submissions of Slashers podcast. Your host, Travis, from the illustrious family known as Horror Movies Uncut. Weird, Weird news, news of last, of last week. week. It's what we got going on right now. And if you thought last week's story of the young lady that poisoned the people with the mushrooms was messed up. Wait till you hear about a little story that's been brewing for the last couple weeks out of Colorado. It's a place by the name of Return to Nature, which is a funeral home that specializes in alternative ways of taking care of your loved ones when they pass. So pretty much the bodies are buried there at the facility and they're going to decompose and return back to nature there at the facility. Well, there's a lot of channels from what I had to read when I did some research on this that you have to go through to get, this is not legal in a lot of places. And when you see what's going on with the story, you kind of find out why it's not legal. There's a lot of stuff you have to go through to be allowed to, 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 to continue with this type of procedure, have a business with this type of procedure. Disposing bodies in this fashion is very, very difficult to do. It takes a lot of space, a lot of time, and you really, really have to stay on top of it. And that was the main thing that was going on is the two owners of this funeral home there was some neglect and the bodies were not being taken care of and disposed of in the correct way, which is lined out verbatim by this particular, like I said, path that you have to take to be allowed to do this um, and have a business with this. And there was over 200 bodies that are completely molded, destroyed, neglected, but these people who own this business have taken this money from these families and have ensured these families that that the bodies of their loved ones, and this is where the shit gets terrible, are going to be taken care of. I mean, these are contracts. This is not some free fucking service, you know, so these people have been arrested um, as of now, and they've been, uh, you know, they're uh, held on bond. I don't know. I haven't seen Another update, I looked yesterday, $2 million per head uh, for both of them. 
to be released. And I mean, supposedly walking into this return to nature place would have been would top like any horror film we've seen in the last decade. So that's sad, man. Those are people, you know, people entrusted these fuckers to take care of their loved ones. And, you know, not only did they get screwed, they fucking screwed over the, uh, the, the people who've passed away. So, you know, that's what, that's what jail is for, you know, not for people fucking selling weed, you know? Uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, Colorado funeral homes, 190 decaying bodies, man. Return to nature. Look it up. It's out there. So we'll have another weird news of last week to give you guys on next segment. So enjoy those two uh, while you can. They're both out there. All right. So what we're going to do, jump back out, come back in. We got a review for a film that I just finished reviewing uh, for the website, Horror Movies Uncut. Uh, It's going to be coming out next week. It's called Tropic. It's a little French sci-fi thriller that kind of hit festival circuits for a nice amount of time. Now it's going to be available for you guys to see. So I'm going to give you guys my quick thoughts on this film, give you some news that you need to know on if you should see it. Don't go nowhere. Be right back. Submissions and Slashers, episode number 43. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back to the Submissions and Slashers, episode number 43. Uh, the film Tropic is something that I feel like I can really, really speak to director Eduardo Salir, sci-fi thriller, French sci-fi thriller. I uh, missed this when it was out in the festival circuits, Fantastic Fest, Sigis, uh, Sigis, Sigis, as I've been yelled at by some of my Spanish brethren <laughs> uh, for saying, And I remember seeing some of the posters and trailers for this. And I remember one of the most intriguing things was the guys underneath the water holding their breath, holding on to kettlebells and stuff, because it was one, it was, it, it it had perfect timing with almost seeing kind of like the training for the new Avatar film and the training for some fighters that I've been seeing on social media lately where everybody's under underwater with kettlebells and wheelbarrows and all types of stuff. Right. Um, and I love it. I, I think it's great. I, I, I think it's such, such fascinating stuff to see people do and, and see how people really can push themselves to the limits. But people forget that these styles of training have been going on for a while, especially when it comes to, uh, working with space and astronauts. So if you have any dreams of being an astronaut working for NASA or some company in whatever capacity now, because you got all these other guys, Blue Apron, <laughs> I don't know, whatever, whatever Bezos company's name is, um, you, you, you forget that there's these tests that they've always made people take, these, these really the, – push you to the limit tests that these men and women must endure to make sure they're ready for flight and space travel. But with twins is where I feel that I got a little bit of knowledge with because they just, they run in my family. I have sets of twins up and down in my family. It's insane. Um, So to see a film that's involving a pair of brothers who are both fighting for the same goal of being astronauts and they're going through these rigorous tests. You, you get to, if you, if you know anything about twins and you've, you've been around them as much as a person like I have, you get to really, really see how there's a bond that either will exist or won't that, that allows this movie to, to give a breath of reality or not. I mean, just right off the bat, you're going to be able to tell if this movie's going to intrigue your interest. And I feel like that's like any any time I see twins in a film, I'm 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 watching that film even a little bit more intently. Like you got like two minutes to get me, or I'm just going to see through everything you're trying to do. 
Um, but Tropic doesn't do it. Uh, Tropic really digs into the nuances of the two brothers and the, and the difficulties that they have to deal with, the, the bond that they have with their mom. <clears throat> they don't have a lot of money, so you can tell that this chapter that they're embarking on of becoming astronauts, how important it is to them. Uh, and on this auspicious evening, the boys are just kind of going through a little practice trial of their water testing and this substance lands in the water, this UFO substance lands in the water and one of the boys gets completely consumed by it. And of course it's the brother who's, you know, a little bit more inclined to be the astronaut than the other. And what this does is it, it completely changed the dynamic of, the two brothers and, and what now becomes important, which is more about family life and survival than it is about these tests and these tasks and these things that was so just like regimented, you know what I mean? Because that's what you're finding out right off the bat. It's like, so they're, they're like soldiers, you know, being told what to do and having to just constantly be on this, this schedule and you're getting taken off this schedule when something like this happens. So it's a very compelling movie. It's a great story. Um, the surrounding cast of, of young men um, really, really help out a lot because they do provide what's necessary for the bond of the brothers to remain strong or to break, depending on how you see the film. I think Tropic is a film that, you know, for people who like French sci-fi thrillers, of course, I think they'll like it. Uh, you know, one of my films last year, The Innocence, was a French sci-fi thriller uh, that I think a lot of people would would have enjoyed. Um, this this has a lot of dark undertones in some other ways, but for sure worth the watch. Uh, three out of five. It's slow. And it's not really your, it's it's really, it's not like a big alien movie type of film, people. It's really a family drama uh, is what Tropic is. Uh, and I enjoyed it a lot. And I hope you get a chance to see it. It'll be out on Monday, VOD platforms. So if you get a chance to see it when it's released on the 27th, go ahead and do so. Let me know if you get a chance to see it. Make sure you send some comments on the uh outlet of Spotify. If you're listening, there's little comment session sections. You can also leave comments on the YouTube. If you get a chance to see any of the films that we talk about, we love to hear your thoughts. We love to know your ratings on these films. And of course, uh, like I always tell you guys, we'll give you our best ratings that we possibly can and try to keep you updated on any of the really, really good ones and kind of how they're moving through uh, and where you might be able to find them on certain outlets. So, the big budget action thriller you need to see and the indie film shout outs are coming up next. Don't you go anywhere, submissions and slashers. We will be right back. Episode number 43. We're going to wrap that up. Also, talk about a what the hell is streaming next week that you need to know about. So, don't you go anywhere. Final portion, episode number 43, submissions and slashers podcast. Episode number 43, Submissions and Slashers podcast. People, as always, thank you so much for checking in with us with the independent genre film news you need to know. Follow us, hit any button you can find that would allow us to be followed. So any subscribe button you can find at HMUNCUT.com is the official website, the home, the family, horror movies uncut of submissions and slashers. So jumping into the final part, we're going to go ahead, chop down this last section, talk about the big budget action thriller that's to see. There's so many things that are out in theaters coming up in the next couple of weeks, but there's a lot of stuff that's, of course, hitting home. One of the films that I know everybody is probably catching up on if they didn't get a chance to is Oppenheimer. I, myself, I'm going to be watching it when I get finished with this podcast tonight. I did not get a chance to see it during all the Barbie Oppenheimer craze because I was at 
uh, multiple film festivals at the time. Didn't get a chance to check that one out. But <clears throat> many people say it is one of the top films of the year. A lot of people say it's some of Nolan's best work. I didn't really get to see too many bad reviews about the film. It is lengthy as expected, but of course, fantastic performances by Cillian Murphy, Matt Damon, as you would expect. So Oppenheimer is, of course, probably the big film action film, if you may, that you need to see. Now, I know I might get a lot of shit out there. There is a couple other films I was looking at, Queen of DeLuca, I believe, the, the something like that. That's another film that I was looking at. But it, it's just accessibility, what everybody's going to have a chance to check out. This is going to be something that is going to be on every single outlet to rent starting now. So why not just, just remind everybody that it is available? Um, especially because now you know Barbie is available too. And you're going to see so much promotion about that, uh, which is warranted for the numbers that it put out. All right, indie film shout outs from the below the grave. Uh, one of the first films we're going to give a shout out to, Uncorked Entertainment. It's got a film called The Caller, directed by Richard Anthony Dunford. House sitting in a secluded rural lodge and working from home. Customer service agent Izzy gets terrorized by an upset psychopathic caller. The real nightmare begins when he decides verbal abuse isn't enough and she's in for the fight of the night of her life. <laughs> uh, there is a superhero fantasy film uh, by Ryan Moore called Emma Geddon. Uh, it's a kind of a fantasy comedy film starring Brie Muick, Matthew Lorette, Carl Hammond, Daniel Robert, Evelyn Lorena, and Cameron Britton. Uh, struggling screenwriter Emily, who works in a gelato shop, writes a screenplay about struggling screenwriter Emma, who works in a coffee shop and is secretly a superheroine named <laughs> Superheroine. That's my. Tyler Perry coming out, a superheroine named Emma Geddon. Uh, and we posted a trailer last week for that. Uh, that is courtesy of the folks over at Cranked Up. Do Not Disturb, which is a cannibal film that we've been talking about on Horror Movies Uncut for the last couple months, also is out available on demand for people to watch right now. If you search that on our website, you will get a nice little review. Um, it is the film about the couple who decides to take a staycation at a resort down in Florida. They do some drugs that turn them into cannibals. It's the best way I could put it, folks. Okay. <laughs> what is, what, what in the, the hell, hell is, streaming is streaming next week? What is streaming? Night of the Missing, A Haunting in Venice. It's a Wonderful Knife. It's going to be on Shudder. It's been playing in theaters. Uh, that is one of the new kind of comedy, big holiday horror films. Uh, Raging Grace. Don't Suck. Two films we talked about last week. Godzilla Minus One, which is a, in a sense, remake of the original 1956 Godzilla. Um... Everyone Will Burn, talked about that last week, and a film that I will have a review for you for uh, next week's episode, Loop Track, also, okay? And what's on next show? A review for Loop Track. What's also on next show? A review for Godzilla Minus One. What's also on next show? More news. Other than that, we out, folks. Have a good rest of your Thanksgiving weekend. Enjoy the last week of November uh, for you folks out there participating in No Nut November, um, congrats. One more week to go, I guess. You know, we're all fighting for you. Uh, other than that, for the rest of you guys, go watch Oppenheimer if you haven't had a chance to. Go see Do Not Disturb if you didn't get a chance to. See Thanksgiving if you didn't get a chance to. Watch Raging Grace if you don't get a chance to. Definitely watch Godzilla. We will talk next time, folks. We out.